Hey guys, how's it going? This is Ryan, and in today's video, we are going to be watching Grace in the Creepman, basically playing Sleep Token for the first time. He's never heard this band. Uh, he'll be hearing a drumless track, basically, and he'll have to write his own drum parts. Uh, the last drumio video I did with Chad Smith here in Photo Second Smart for the first time did very, very well. So this time we're here with Grace in the Creepman. I always go to say Necrutman, but it's Necrutman. Um, and yeah, like I said, he'll be playing Sleep Token for the first time. So, see how this goes. The band's completely anonymous? Yeah. Actually? Yeah. What? And the drummer's name, they're, they're totally anonymous, so his name is Two. Two? Yeah. If it's so far off that people are going to be like... And Grayson <laughs> is pissed. <laughs> he Grayson's sweats like, like mad. Really confused. Just saying, Do you think YouTube's going to be like, that sucks? I feel like this is going to be the most embarrassing video ever. Nah, okay, look. What's up, everybody? Grayson the Crewman here at Drumeo. Today, I'm going to be listening to... I don't even know what song it is. And I don't know what drummer it is yet. And I'm going to make up my own drum part to it. Is that right? Is that what I'm doing? I think so. That's exactly what you're going to do. I think I can stump you on this one. So we'll load up the track. Here it is. It's so different. This guy's a jazz drummer, just saying, guys. I'm confused. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. All right, I have no clue who that is. Success! <laughs> we stumped Grace. What band is that? I'm not going to tell you yet. Am I like completely off with what I'm playing? I have no comment. You get to come up with How record. bad is it compared to what it's supposed to be? It's not terrible. I think you'll be surprised. Bless him. By what he, like, honestly. Oh boy. What do you want to do? You want to go. Grayson is like proper insecure about how to bless him he's like but the thing is he's a really good drummer like, i don't know if you guys have seen his caravan drumming video but that shit was insane man he's so so good but no honestly i'm really interested to see what his um final take looks like from the top you want to make notes what... yeah can we go back to that breakdown section because i have no clue what i'm gonna do there i feel like this is gonna be the most embarrassing video ever do you think youtube's gonna be like that sucks i think youtube's gonna dig it it's gojira isn't it no, but good guess. <laughs> he looks okay, confused. <laughs> That sounded good. How bad is that? Sounds good, man. You want to take it from the top? No. <laughs> How you feeling? I don't know if I like this game. <laughs> <laughs> this is weird. You agree to come back. There's the towel. <laughs> huh. And Grayson is pissed. <laughs> I like how much he puts into his drum. Like you can see, he's like proper getting into it. Like a lot, of, you see some drummers like, um, not so much on this channel, but dr drummers in general, which are just very much like, you know, like very standard, kind of not moving a lot. But he kind of, you can see he puts a lot into his drum, which is really nice to see. <laughs> Grayson's like really confused. If it's so far off that people are gonna be like, <laughs> let me just keep practicing it. Thing is it's not an easy song to drum. Can you tell me what artist it is? I'm gonna make it right now, just tell me. Just tell me what artist it is. I won't yet. Why? Tesseract? 
No, good guess though. How are you feeling overall? That's right, good band. I'm okay. Yeah. A little, we little weirded out, but. Final take, and then we'll tell you what it is and play you the original. Let's see how it goes. Here's a final take. Judging from. Oh, there's an advert there. Just gonna cut here in a second, guys. He's gonna kill it. Judging from some of the stuff he's playing leading up to this. Just saying, that hi-hat thing, like that fucking rudiment or whatever the fuck that is, that sounds so beautiful and so consistent when he's playing it as well. Thing is, like, I guess when you have like a jazz drummer or even a pop drummer or anything like that where it's not necessarily metal, rock, whatever, you know, their go-to thing is like, you know, hi-hat and blah, blah, blah. Like, they don't have these symbols like um, China symbols and stuff like that that, you know, most metal drummers would probably have. So... It's really interesting to see a different spin on this song. He's hitting it with meaning as well. But like I said earlier, he literally, he's putting his body into it and stuff. And it's just nice to see that someone that doesn't necessarily automatically resonate with this genre is, is giving it his all. Sort of like, you know, drumming passionately, like alongside it sort of thing. It's really nice to see from Grayson. <laughs> my favorite bit again. <laughs> The 
fact that he and going back again to this whole jazz drummer metal drummer divide type thing the fact that you know jazz drummers may not use or I, I highly doubt jazz drummers on many occasions use a double bass pedal and i can't see them using their left foot anywhere near as much as their right foot if i'm honest uh, but the fact that he's literally got that kind of stamina on both his legs and like when he was hitting it as well you find sometimes when people are using the double kick pedal sometimes when their stamina starts to reduce you you kind of hear a difference between the feet but with him he yeah that was solid man <laughs> I love the fact that he was fit. Like, just look at his face when he does that snare roll. Look, the fucking power he puts in there. That's amazing. I was not expecting him to do some shit like that, man. Holy shit. Wow. Dude. That was. If you've ever tried to play piano, I bet one of these four problems happened to you. <laughs> that was You're incredible. An animal. <laughs> Look at the sweat. So you want to know who it is? <laughs> yeah. Okay, so the band is called Sleep Token. Okay. You ever heard of them? Yes. And the drummer's name, they're, they're totally anonymous, so his name is Two. Two? Yeah. The band's completely anonymous? Yeah. Actually? Yeah. What? How was that? Was that even re remotely close? That was awesome, dude. Okay, so we're gonna load you up the original. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Pretty close. Pretty close. <laughs> Pretty close. <laughs> His name is now Grayson Pretty Close Recruitment. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, uh, nah. <laughs> I did that! <laughs> <laughs> the amusement is it's actually fucking love lovely to watch. Wait, that was pretty close. I was just saying, uh, when you started doing that the first time, and I'm like, are you gonna do the three to assemble? Because I know that Two does that all the time. He does those groupings. You had a good poker face the whole time. I do what I can. I thought you guys were like gonna crap on me because I was so far off. <laughs> That's pretty close. So what do you think? What do you think the whole the whole process? I didn't. I guess if I wasn't so hard on myself, it would have been more fun. To be fair, he is very hard on himself. But you know what? Like what I get from Grayson is he's very much like as much as he is a very very good drummer and very successful drummer. He's also a student as well. Like he was listening to that and he was like, 
okay like he wasn't thinking oh yeah that's that's all right sort of he was like get proper getting into it and, and sort of admiring it and stuff and the fact that when that breakdown bit came in where he was like no <laughs> you know it's it's nice that he kind of was like nah no, no chance mate like <laughs> no he's and as well having that mindset like you know this isn't good or this could be a lot better ah oh, that wasn't great I could have done that you know that's probably the, the biggest tool to becoming successful for you know for being a musician and stuff is self-criticism so the fact that he is so self-aware even when he doesn't need to be is it's really nice to see from him so I was just getting pissed so I'm like I don't know if this is working or not but it was fun so that was interesting it turns out I was pretty close more close to the actual part than I thought I would ever be. Um, it was a fun challenge, a little frustrating at certain points, but it goes to show that really nothing's right and wrong. You can kind of just do whatever if it makes sense and it works. Oh, I realized I didn't even tell you the name of the song. No. It's, uh, it's called Hypnosis. Hypnosis. By Sleep Token. Thanks for the challenge. Anytime. We'll do it again. Yes. <laughs> Hope everybody enjoyed that. That was a ton of fun. Wish you all the best. See you soon. Cool. Guys, honestly, this guy, like, to be fair, I've, I've only ever seen a couple videos from Grayson, but, you know, when I saw his caravan drumming video that I mentioned earlier, bro is so good. Like, you know, his technique, like, he uses, like, the traditional technique, and, you know, he's like, you just have to watch it. I can't even put it into words. It's really refreshing to see him do something different and, you know, kind of get to know him a little bit as well, because sometimes, especially with drummers and guitarists and stuff you know bands you don't get to know them as a person as much as what you probably would a singer because you think about it a singer he's got the mic he's always the front of the band and you know like being the personality but it's nice to see for example Grayson you know being a drummer it's nice to see a video like this where you kind of get to get a little bit of the personable side of him as well so and he did an amazing job I think like you know that that verse where he was doing the hi-hat rudiments and stuff like that bro that was so fucking cool and it was pretty close to the original as well if to be honest i don't want to say it sounded better because you know there's two, two different sides to it you know everyone's gonna have a different opinion but i probably favored that a lot more than when the original recording played it was a lot more obvious and i, I don't know maybe it's just because the drums are more isolated because he was playing over the original song but yeah um anyway I hope you like my reaction guys it has been a pleasure as always uh, leave a like and a comment and let me know what video you want me to react to next and yeah peace out bye bye